In this video, I'm going to show you a really effective man beater that you can utilize from the trips tight end formation in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and I just want to ask you to hit that subscribe button. If you want to get better at the game, we do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to hit the subscribe button. And guys, today we're sharing one of my favorite route combinations, an oldie but a goodie out of the Trips Tied In Inside Cross uh, Play Breakdown. And we're going to be primarily taking a look at this as a potential way that you can beat man-to-man. Man-to-man, at least in my opinion, is one of the best defenses right now for Trips Tied In. Some of the best Madden players in the community are running this defense at a uh, very high pace. And so I wanted to give you a way that you could beat man-to-man -man, uh, from the play inside cross. Now, if you have a tight end apprentice, you don't actually have to use the play inside cross. Um, but I'm going to be breaking down inside cross today uh, for you, though, for those of you that don't. It's just a simple way that you can use the inside cross concept. Um, and, and again, I like to come out and counter go every time. And I'm going to show you a setup that you can use out of PA counter go if you do have outside apprentice. So the setup is really, really, really simple. I'm just gonna go down to the cover one robber. And the way that most people are setting this up is they're shading their coverage outside and underneath. And then we're getting a lot of this like inside quarter adjustment over here, maybe a purple over here, whatever. Um, but the setup for this is really simple. We're going to smart red our tight end. We're gonna zig our inside slot. We're going to slant our outside slot. And then we're going to put our tight end on a, or I'm sorry, our outside receiver on a skinny post. And I like this out of PA counter go because um, I can leave this play action or I could wheel my running back just like this if I wanted to. And what we're going to do is we're just going to motion Scotty Miller over here. And essentially we're going to have, you know, kind of a couple reads here. The first one that I'd really like to hit is this tight end aggressive catch. Um, if you aggressive catch that, that's a fairly consistent throw, whether it be against man or zone. Very, one of my favorite routes in the game. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to do this out of inside cross if you don't have tight end apprentice or if you do have tight end apprentice. So if you have um, inside cross, what I what you can do with this is still use this whip route to Chris Godwin. And then you can actually use this little out route to Miller if you wanted to use that. Or you could just re-corner your tight end, slant Scotty Miller, and, sl and, um, and wheel your running back. So you see it kind of looks like this. And what you'll see is that this corner route... Um, isn't as good at beating man as the out route was but you can have an opportunity if they're not putting thirds on the field to try to get that deep catch down the field um, if you have outside apprentice but you don't have tight end apprentice i'm gonna give you another setup this is out of verticals it's just creating the same basic concept um, with your running back i'm going to give you another route if you want if you don't like the if you don't like the um the wheel wheels are so good this year that you kind of want to keep them on your field because those are routes um, this year, just the way the game is played. Wheel routes are so, so powerful in this year's game. And so I like to kind of keep wheels. One thing that you can also do, I'm going to give you an additional setup, is we can actually take our tight end and put him on a smart routed in from the play inside cross or the play PA counter go. And then we're going to flat Scotty Miller. And what this flat route is going to do is going to pull out all the zones. And then this little wheel to the running back is going to be super, super incredible. Just low ball, and you're going to cut it off and aggressive catch it every single time. So that's one of my favorite little plays. It's really good against man, really good against zone. And then, um, again, like I said, I wanted to show this to you out of inside cross. So what this is going to force the opponent to do is they're going to have to have some kind of zone over here on this right side. And so if they wanted to say with their shaded down, you know, coverage and, and, and if they wanted to, you know, this is going to also make it so that it's a little bit more difficult uh, for them to be able to blitz you. Um, but then the other thing that you're going to be able to take advantage of on this is this motion slant. This motion slant has been one of the best routes for years. Just hit it right across the face. And as you can see, that's going to be open. And if you notice, that route is going to run about a 20 yard zone depth. And I think that's really important to point out because a lot of people are going to put a 10 yard curl flat on this left side. Um, that's just kind of the standard. And then they might have a coverage that looks like this little two man uh, or two purple coverage. And what you'll notice with this, again, same exact concept, but now, as you can see, this slant, if you wait on this route, 
you'll see here on the sideline, you can kind of aggressive catch it. Part of this is because Scotty Miller is so low in terms of his route running, but there's there's definitely multiple points at which you can hit this slant, um, just depending on how they want to adjust. Now, again, if they're shading down and they're shading underneath, your zig is not necessarily going to be a great read. So what you can do though, um, to kind of make it a little bit of a, a little bit of a better read, um, is you could just simply flat him. Or one of my favorite concepts is to put him on a hitch. Um, if I know that they're in the shaded down man, and if you'll see here by putting him on a hitch, what's going to happen is this purple is going to suck to the middle of the field, as you can see, and you can throw this to the outside of the curl flat zone. So that's a simple way that you can kind of deal uh, with this, you know, kind of defense. This is one of the more popular coverages, like I said, against trips right now. Um, pretty much everybody that I know is running this. And again, they're probably going to use her, this guy over the middle of the field. So let's say, for example, that they want to take away your slant route um, to, to, um, to Scotty Miller. So if they want to take away this, the slant concept, obviously you have your wheel, but let's just assume that that's guarded. Then now what you're going to be able to do is you're going to have your skinny post running over the middle. That's going to be wide open over the top for potentially a one play touchdown. It's one of the best man beaters in the game. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you was another thing that you could do with your running back. If you're finding that, you know, the running back wheel is just not for you or you don't like the spacing on this play. Um, there is another thing that you can do with your running back. So again, we're going to reuse that slant concept. We're going to use that zig concept. Um, but what I like to do with my running back is if I ever feel like I, I can't, um, you know, I can't separate in the wheel route or, or whatever, then what I like to do is take my running back and either put him on an option route or simply a quick out route right here to the right. And what you'll see is this out route will create a high low um, for your for your offense. So you can kind of use that little out route. That out route is actually a lot better than I just showed. Um, let me show it to you one more time. But what this will do is kind of further drive home the fact that they need to be purpling their coverage. And again, it creates a high low. So if they're not playing hard flats on the running back, he'll be wide open. If they are going to play hard flats, then your tight end is going to be a little bit more open. So you see there, he actually covers him really well, I guess. I don't know if they patched it. But if you put backfield mass master or backfield mismatch on that player, that will be a little bit better um, against this as well. But as you can see, these are some simple ways that you can kind of force them into, you know, certain types of coverages. Um, let me give you one other setup that I really like uh, out of the play inside cross. And that is this little smart routed in route to Scotty Miller. So if the purples and if they're doing a lot of shaded down man to man coverage, this is a play that I really like to go to um, primarily because, like I said, the, the zig will get bagged if they're shading underneath. So what I like to do with this is I'm going to slant Chris Godwin. I'm going to take my tight end if I have tight end apprentice and put him on a corner route. If I can't do that, I'm going to put him on a smart routed out route. And then I'm going to wheel uh, my running back. So you see it looks kind of like this. You could also option the running back. But now we have this smart routed in as just another route over the middle that can be very good against the man-to-man -man meta. So that is it for beating man to man. Now I just want to show this real briefly um, against zone coverage. And really this is a pretty dang good little zone beater in my opinion. Um, and the reason why is because we have a high low to the right side. So you'll see how I can throw that with an inside pass lead to my running back um, against zone. So, and again, I haven't talked too much about wheel routes this year, honestly, um, but wheel routes are so, so powerful. And if you understand that you can throw them, you have to come to it with the precursor knowledge that you can literally throw this against everything. And so what you want to do is if there's no hard flat, just low ball it, pass lead it inside. And as you can see, that gets open. Now, the other thing that I want to quickly point out about wheel routes is let's say, for example, that your opponent is running five yard vertical hooks. This is one of the real benefits to having your trips to the short side of the field or I'm sorry, you're, you're running back to the short side of the field. Because this wheel route is to the short side of the field, you're gonna notice that these underneath zones, even if they're yellow zones, they really aren't gonna get out there. They're actually gonna get sucked back inside just like that. And you see how open that wheel route is 
um, in this offense. So that's a great read over there. They're going to basically have to use her that right side to be able to have a chance to guard this in zone coverage. Now, another thing that I really, 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 really like about this formation and about this concept in general is this post route is so good against cover three. And I'll just show you, once he crosses the face right about there, you can kind of throw that against cover three this year. Um, there I just... You know, Brady doesn't have gunslingers, so that's one of the things. Um, but just kind of, you can kind of test that if there's no deep defender over there. Um, but then the other thing that I want to show you is, again, this route is lethal, um, this motion slant. And you'll see right here, you got your zig that I could have hit right there, and then I can throw my slant over the top of the player just like that. So this play beats every coverage in the game. It's one of my favorite base plays. And if you can get good at throwing wheel routes, it will really open up a lot of your offense. You'll be able to beat every coverage in the game just by a simple wheel route. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this formation, make sure that you jump in my Patreon. That's where you can get my full trips tied in offensive guide. The other cool part about our Patreon is we are also going to get access to all of my Madden strategy guides. We've got over 25 offensive and defensive guides this year. In addition to that, we have have several pro tips on that page um, that we release every single week and so you get access to all that stuff as well any updates to the ebooks while your membership's active or any new stuff on the page you'll be able to get as well so if you want to sign up for the patreon membership there's a link in the description if you can click that that'll take you right over uh, to the page where you can get all registered and signed up